Hello, everyone. Happy Friday and welcome to Wake Up Legendary. My name is Joanne. I am the director of marketing here with Legendary Marketer. And I'm coming to you today because it is a decade in a day workshop day for us. So Dave is over there in that all day workshop with our students. Um, but I get to be here with all of you celebrating a fantastic Friday with a guest. I know all of you are going to love. I love her story. I love her background, her history, because it, it wasn't overnight. And sometimes we feel like everyone hops into the challenge and a week later they're making millions of dollars and have massive success. And that's usually not the case. That's not reality. Um, and we have Sarah today who's going to share her story, her journey, the roller coaster of being an entrepreneur, and all the good, bad, ugly, and beautiful things that come from that journey. So without further ado, Sarah, welcome to the show this morning. Hello. Thank you for having me. I am so excited. I was reading through your questionnaire and I just think you are who our whole community is. You, you've gone through what everyone worries about, maybe has experienced. Yes. Um, and it's normal. It is. It is. Typical. So before we dive into all of that, give us a little background about you, your family, and how you first found Legendary. Well, I am wife and a mom. Um, my kids are nine and five, live in Pennsylvania, have you know, a yard full of horses and dogs and all that stuff. Um, but we're you know, stay-at-home mom, I living on one paycheck. And so I started scrolling through TikTok like we all do. Um, about 21, uh, 2021, November-ish. Um, and I started seeing people about this affiliate marketing, right? And I, so I got intrigued with it and was like, maybe that could help my family um, get us out of the debt. Um, I learned to, in process, I'll show, share later, but to write down your why, because it's a very good thing to have, um, but to pay off our debt, um, get us out of our, you know, pay off our mortgage, build up savings for our kids and all that stuff. Um, so scrolling through TikTok, endless hours, like, you know, why not? Um found a couple women um, talking about this and it was legendary um, and it was $7. And I was like, it's $7, right? Um, why not jump in on it? So um, actually over Christmas, um, New Year's between 21 and 22, my husband and I talked about it and we um, decided to jump in. Um, so we, I bought the $7. We started that training, um, purchased the blueprints. Um, and then about a month in, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> like, I was overwhelmed, um, trying to be everywhere all at once, learning, and I didn't reach out and ask questions, mm -hmm. and I plummeted. <laughs> right. Where a lot of people don't talk about. So, and we're not talking about just a few months ago. We're talking like 14 months ago, guys. Yes, when we when Sarah went through this process. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. So yeah, so, you know, I, I took then I quit it all because I was I was like, I can't I can't do this. And I invested we had gotten an LLC and we've start we started the whole shebang. Um, mm -hmm. But then I sat back and I kept watching people do this and make the money and moms and dads and I'm like, why can't I do this? Like, and I had to get out of my head. Um, so in September, in the fall, um, I kicked back in, um, and started, you know, riding the waves and buckled down, um, and really decided that I had to do this and knew that I could do it. Um, mm -hmm. so it's been, it's been a ride and it's still, I mean, you get your ups and downs yeah. and it's, it's like, you, you got to get out of your head and just quit comparing yourself to what other people are having success with. And that, that is, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for me still. Um, I still have weeks that I like watch everyone. I'm like, man, they're making, they're making so good. Why am I not there yet? But I know it, it's a business 
that I have to build and it's just consistency. So I get up every day and I stick to my plan and what I need to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I also, my back history, I also own another business with my brothers. It's a brick and mortar business and we've been growing it for four years. Um, and it's still in the growth process, right? We're still not getting where we need to yet. We, I mean, the business is growing, but we're still, you know, when we get paid, we get paid. So, you know, being an entrepreneur, it's like, I have to remember with this online too, that it's not immediate success. Some people, sure it can be, but that's not everybody's story. It's um, really not what's typical. And I yeah. think that's what is the reminder for everyone here. This is a journey. This isn't overnight easy. Yep. Right? There's, there's yep. a process that goes on. There's a process of learning. And it's not just learning the skills, it's learning about yourself. Yes. Learning yeah. what your fears are, learning what your your own limitations that you had, the walls you had up that you need to break mm-hmm. through and break, you know, hop over. Yeah. Um, yeah, because me being on here today or being on any camera, because there's another question I get talking to people, like, do I have to be on camera? Do I have to show my face? I'm like, it's it's the best way to put yourself out there. And people get to know you. And this is, I share with people, I'm not a public speaker. Like I, out of my family, we have two other brothers. My oldest brother's a pastor, loves to speak in front of tons of people. And I'm the one that I love to sit in the back of the crowd, not talk to anybody. Not like, I talk to my friends, but I'm not going to get up in front of anybody and speak. So it's got me out of my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And I think it through, it's showing my kids too, like they can do stuff. My nine-year-old son's like, even with this, like, mom, hey, can I do that with you? I want to, I want to learn too. So it's, mm-hmm. you know, it's growing out of that, that comfort zone that we like to be in and putting yourself, I mean, just putting yourself out there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So for those tuning in, cause we've had a, a group that just hopped on, um, Sarah started 14 months ago but took a break. You were overwhelmed at that point. Do you feel like you were overwhelmed with information or were you just like into, got stuck with comparing so bad that you just like froze in action? What do you think stopped you at that point? I think it was a little bit of the information, but also watching how everybody else was growing a lot. Mm -hmm. And I thought in my head, like when I started, like I needed to be everywhere to really grow it. So I started trying to do every platform, being everywhere. And it was like, it was too much while I was still learning um, and seeing these people grow. And I'm like, why aren't I going anywhere? Because I would post the videos and I would do this and I would do that. And I was like, but I'm not getting anywhere. So then you got this like defeated kind of like, like, oh man. And I got down and I didn't reach out for questions. And so I tell people now to like reach out and ask people, ask those questions, because everyone has been here. They just don't show it, right? Right. (laughs) So true. Like, it's not, it's not an over, it's not overnight success. It's, it Mm -hmm. takes work. And I knew going into that, but it was still human. It was like, but I want that. Like, I see people making 20, 30,000 a month, like, yes, like, I need that for my family. And even when it didn't, like, the first commission didn't come in for a little while, like, the first month when I started, I'm like, these people said, like, the first week or so, they were making money. Like, why isn't it working for me? And that's when I got even like, oh, and I was like, you know what, I got things to do. I'm gonna put this on the back burner for a while. So I did, I sat around and wasted more time instead of figuring it out and asking questions and going over the material more and taking it back a step and just right. breathing for a minute. So it's like, we got to get out of our comfort zone, but we also need to find what are we comfortable with stepping into too. Right. If, if it's too, if it causes you to stop trying to be on all the platforms all at once, take a step back and go, okay, you know what? I can handle one platform right now. Yep. I'm going to make sure to save all my content that's off the platform. So when I'm ready, I have right stuff ready to go. But that's where we have to have that strength to go. This is what I need to still keep taking steps forward. It may not be 10 steps at a time, 
but it's one step, two step, and that's what's important. Right, right. right? Yeah. And that's where I started, like, in September. It's where I started reaching out to people um, and asking help. And it was, it was like, go and do one platform. Learn one thing. So I, I started with TikTok, but, you know, I get frustrated because I'm like, it's not growing like everyone else's. So I went to Facebook because I'm always on Facebook. I've been on it for years. So I understand that a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. So I started there and I reorganized my profile and my bio and all that stuff and just started doing what I knew on Facebook. Yeah. People have been telling me what I knew that I needed to do. Um, mm -hmm. So Facebook has grown for me. My other platforms, you know, right. I'm still where it's like, you know, why isn't it growing? But I know it'll it'll get there. It's a work in progress. Right. So. I mean, everyone I, says like six to 12 months, right? And it might be right. a little longer for people. So mm -hmm. it's just. Yeah. Um, Sasha says, I feel like there's pressure to be successful right away, like within a month. And yeah. like, there's just not, it's actually your own pressure to be that yeah. way. Yeah. It, right? I think it's just getting in our own heads. Like you're seeing everyone else do that. And you're like, I, I need to do that too. And I have to be there. And if I'm not being there, then I must be wrong. I must not be doing something right to grow it there. So that's beautiful is you guys are building your own business. Yes. So nothing's wrong. Right. If we really embrace that, what you choose to do isn't wrong. It's the path you're moving this business through. It's not yeah. a cookie cutter, right? We have, yeah. there's people that see success on Facebook and see nothing on TikTok and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Some go live all the time. Some never go live. It's not an exact formula you can duplicate. You've got to make it your own, your own journey, your own path and go for it. And the one thing I want everyone to pull from this morning that you just shared, whether they realize it or not, start with the platform you know the best or that you like the best that you're most comfortable on, you're more likely to be successful there first. Absolutely. Yep. So I love that you're like, you know what? I'm just not gelling with TikTok right now. So I'm yep. going to go back to the platform that I know that I'm comfortable with. There is some familiarity there. Right. right. And, and that's what's now growing for you because those are the areas where you're like, oh, I, I, I feel comfortable posting. So you probably post more. You're comfortable commenting. You know how everybody, everything works and the connections yep. Um, yep. and the entire platform. So you just end up taking more action there probably too. Right. Right. Yeah. I work, I work on it a lot more because I, you know, I know what I'm supposed to do and I'm still, I'm in the process. Like this is a learning process all the time. Um, every day. It's getting out and learning something new. Um, so t Instagram, I've been studying more this week on just, you know, what is the platform? How are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to grow on? And, you know, it's a learning process, but. Yeah, totally. I love it. I love this story. I love your story. And everyone, you all can have your own success story. You just have to keep going. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, if I didn't start again, I want to, you know, I want to start doing what I'm doing now, you know, and it's not where I want to be, but yet it's, it's my own journey and it's growing. And, you know, I'm starting to see, see the rewards from my work being put in. Um, but it is, it's, it's having that strong why too on why you chose to do this. That's where it pushes you every day to get up and do it. I mean, there's mornings I get up, I'm like, I don't want to touch my phone. I don't want to do it. But before I go to bed at night, whether I'm sitting watching Netflix, I'm always I'm always scrolling, interacting, doing something before I go to bed at night. Um, so it's nice too that way that you're not you're not set at time where you have to do this. And if something doesn't get done today, you can push it off till tomorrow. You, it, it's yours. You don't have a boss there yelling and screaming at you that why didn't you get something done today? Or you had to stay in the office two extra hours because you didn't get done. I was a nurse too. I, I didn't share that, mm -hmm. but I used to, I mean, I was a nurse for forget how many years. And you know, there's a lot of times people didn't show up. You, my 12 hour shift turns into the 16 hour shifts with an hour drive. So it's, where do you want to be? I don't know, build your own thing and be your own boss and 
you know, get out of that stuck area. Um, even though this is, is hard, but so is nursing. So, so is everything it's else. Hard. That's what we talked you about know? on Wednesday. Pick your challenges. Which challenge yeah. do you want? Yeah, everything's hard we do. Yeah. I mean, it's everything we learn is it's new. So it's going to seem hard and it's going to have frustrating days. And, mm -hmm. but I'm glad I, I'm glad I went back in. I started putting into it and rolling with it again. And, and I still work on, like I said before, like the, the daily comparison of some of these women that are like doing it. But then I think they've been doing it for two years. Like they've been growing steadily for a couple of years and that's not where I'm at yet. So it's, it's cool. Yeah. I don't know. It's a fun business. Yeah. And what else is cool is you took uh, like what, almost eight months off, right? I did. I it did. wasn't a two week break guys. It wasn't like, I'll revisit this next week. It was like, she went fully away for eight months and decided to come back. Yeah. And that's, what's beautiful because you're learning here. You have an education and it's there when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you have it, it's, it's yours for life. I mean, it's you have there, it It's right? whenever you want to go back. I still go back and visit it and look through mm -hmm. it and learn new things that I didn't catch the first time um, going through it. Um, so, and even like watching these videos and re revisiting all this stuff and, you know, the trainings now is, I mean, just to sit back and listen to what other people's questions are that you maybe not a, didn't think of, and it's like, oh, yeah, like, that's what I need to do. It's, a, it's those aha moments, like, maybe I should try that. And I've also learned, like, if something's not, give yourself a month. If that's not working in your business, then change it. Don't keep plugging away in the same thing. Be be willing to move out of that and change it a little bit more. Right. Um, maybe go live, whether you're scared to do it or not. I mean, my first live <laughs> took 10 to 15 minutes to press exactly. the button, so... Right. Even if it's for five minutes, just yeah. do it. it's something different. It's new. Test it out. See how it goes. Yeah. Right. Yep. Wow. Yep. But I was kind of like, I always think of like butterflies too. And like the growth of an entrepreneur in a business, like butterflies aren't there overnight, mm -hmm. right? They start as caterpillar and they have to grow um, before they can turn into the beautiful creature they are. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, I always keep that in mind of being like an entrepreneur and business owner too, that it takes that time of growth and learning and time absorbing that information and doing it to become, you know, where we want to be in the end. So. So what helped you come back into it? What helped you with your mindset to come back into it? Um, just a lot of like doing different readings and different podcasts, but mm -hmm. I also knew like, that's why I figured out my like strong why and my kids were going back to school in September. And I was like, if I want anything in our lives to ever change, then I have to do this. Um, you know, I listen a lot of the Bible studies and different things that I do. Um, and it, it's, it's sitting there going like, we're, we're in debt. Like if I want to get out of this, or my husband's paycheck gets us by we pay the bills with it, but there's no extra. And the other business I'm growing is we may get paid, we may not, but that money has to go back into that business. But I had to sit down and really, I just shift my mindset and really sit down and focus. Like, I, I want this. I need this for my family. And I want that change. I want the freedom to be able to pack up and surprise my kids with, with fun trips or adventures to go away for the weekend. Um, and not have to worry about where that money's coming from. So my, I mean, my, my straw is a lot of my family. Like I want to be in a different situation and not like I have a good life, you know, we're, we do great, but we still have that debt and we still, you know, we want to go somewhere. We don't have a lot of the extra. So this was my, like, I know I can do this. I know this can work. I've seen it work. I just, I had to like, just in my head that I, I got to do this. So, yeah, I love it. Oh, it's so amazing. And, you know, a, a lot of people get stuck comparing to others, mm -hmm. not really knowing their full journey, but assuming what that journey looks like just by watching their social media. We had a guest a few months ago that shared um, when she started her coaching business, 
she actually unfollowed anyone that was in the same space. So it wouldn't distract her from yeah. putting in the work and the growth that she knew her business needed from her in the start. Yeah. And I That's really a good love one too. that because so many of us, we start seeing all, you know, TikTok's feeding us all the other people that are yep. doing it. We start yep. thinking, this is the whole world is doing this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, if you went and started a brand new account, none of those videos would pop up. None of those people would be seen. Yep. And that's what I've done. I mean, I've started a new TikTok and none of it, like it's, it's kind of a breath of fresh air because it, it it's, it's videos and people that's not in the same, because it is, it's the algorithm showing you you're in that and you're posting about that and that's what you're watching. So that's what they just keep pushing towards you. So yeah, you start getting into your mind that this is oversaturated. I'm never going to do that. I can't be where they're at. They started two years ago. They're way ahead right? Their account blew off. They're lucky. But in reality, they've put in the work, they've put in the time, and they've gone through these struggles we all go through. Right. It's, it's growth. It really is. Yeah. And you just, you will succeed. You just got to stick around long enough to let it yep. happen. Yeah. Right? Just keep just being consistent every day. Yeah. Like I said before, like if I do, there's days I don't want to, but I make sure I have three videos out every day. Whether I do anything else, the three videos are up every day. And now now I do. I put them on. They go on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. But it's mm -hmm. daily. And there is, there's still days that you ride because you let you start get on the views. And you're like, man, my views don't have anything. I don't have this. I don't have that. Right. Right. But you have 200 views. You have three views. That's three more people that have seen your stuff than no one. Exactly. So it's still growth. It may not be what you want it to be yet but you still have people seeing your, your stuff. So, and I know you can speak to this viral videos don't equal money in your account. Yep. They just help build your confidence. Yep. One vanity appearance, but the goal of going viral doesn't necessarily equal money. No, <laughs> no. Right? So Most you of the time, a viral video. So tell us about that experience. <laughs> so I, yeah, I made a video um, about um, about working for Amazon and stuff, and and it went crazy on Facebook, and they had like ten plus million views or something on it, and I don't even know how many comments and likes. Um, I got a handful of people asking about the business. Most most of the people were. You, you get you get the negative comments, you get the scamming comments, you get the you're just stealing people's money comments, right? So that's where too, it's just like, you have to get that hard side of you too, to know that's okay. But yeah, I mean, it went viral and it was exciting. I was like, dang, like I'm getting these followers. This is awesome. But yes, it doesn't mean it's going to turn into money in your pocket. I mean, it's helped me grow people and, you know, be able to talk to more people. Right. But it doesn't mean viral videos is not meaning that you're going to make you're going to be a millionaire off a of viral video. Right. Yeah. It, it's fun to have happen. It is fun. Right? I was <laughs> morning, I was like, right. oh my gosh, I how many more followers? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but right. yeah. And I was there getting comments are, and comments. But there are many digital marketers out there. Yep. Many online businesses. Um that have a few thousand followers and make a absolutely fantastic living yes. for themselves and their family. Um, because those few thousand followers are absolutely raving freaking fans that just eat up everything. <laughs> that creator, right? Yeah. Yep. And that's what matters is the relationships you're building through your content and online. Yes. And remembering our social platforms are meant to be social, not selling. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yep. And that's a hard one too, because you want to push what you're, you want to push what you're quote unquote selling, right? But you're there to help people. And it's, it's to help somebody get out of the situation. Maybe you were in sharing stuff that you've learned and being educational, but you know, in the background, you, you do have that, that back notion of like, Hey, I, maybe I could 
sell, but it, it's it's getting to know people and help people. And I just like I I talk to a lot of people, and it's great getting just to know know people and learn from where they're at and where their situation they're at, and right. you know, showing them what's out there, and that you're a real person having exactly. a real conversation. You're yep. human, <laughs> and that's yes. what people yes. want. They don't want to be part of some big corporate sales machine. They they want to see the human experience and be relatable to someone like them. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. Which is, I think really cool because five, six, seven years ago, the online space was a little like, Ooh, everybody had their Lamborghinis. And their yeah. Jets yeah. And you it. watch the fall, you watch the, uh, Insta famous and the influencers and you're like, why can't I be them? You know? <laughs> right? and, and it's not like that anymore. No. No, it's, it's really it's not. It's so shifted cool. so much. Yeah. It, and it'll keep shifting and evolving, which means we have to keep shifting and learning and trying new things because the market will never remain exactly the same. Yes, it is. Right? It, it's learning daily. It is. It's it's a, you know, if something's not working, give it a month. If it's not working, change it up. Switch right? it up. Don't be afraid to try new things and you know, go back through and see what videos have been working for you and, you know, recreate something that's, that was working for you and, you know, or share a video that went, did pretty good, reshare it, you know? Yeah. Or recreate it with small little adjustments and yeah. five, six, seven different ways. Yeah. You know, it, it's all about repeating. It may feel boring to you, but it's not to your audience. They aren't seeing every single video. No, they yeah. see like one out of 10 or something. I forget the stats on that, but they yeah. don't see. And I have to remember that too. There's still days I'm like, I just put this out yesterday, but I'm like, but they're not going to see this. Yeah. Second question, like even on my Facebook, if you scroll on my profile, you can see all my videos. But people will ask me and it's like, well, what about this? I'm like, well, it was in that video yesterday, but oh, by the way, oh, but you didn't see that video. Mm. You only saw this one, right? So it's, I mean, social media is neat. I mean, the growth out there and potential mm -hmm. is insane. Yeah. And then when you start having fun with it, that's where it gets fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because your, your audience, actually, people watching your video can see that you're having fun. You're enjoying it. Um, you're positive. Right. Nobody right. wants to watch right. you. We're like, <laughs> so I'm now doing digital marketing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You gotta be excited. You gotta be so doing? excited. Do some push-ups before you do a video. Right. <laughs> All right. So right when we started this interview, you had a little sheet of paper, handwritten mm -hmm. vision sheet. So explain yep. what that is, how that's helped you, how that it's, can help it's a little dirty. <laughs> that's all right. This is this is my these are my visions, these are my whys. Um pay off our large amount of debt pay off our mortgage, stop living the paycheck, bring my husband home. He likes his job. So if he wants to stay, whatever, but if he wants to be able to home, be able to come home, um, get college funds. If my kids want to go to college, set aside savings. Right. And long down the road is to be able to get a beach house. But these are my whys. These are my, like what I want now to what I want, you know, five, six, 10 years from now. Yeah. And I have to, I, I wrote these down and I look at them almost daily to push me to do my business. And on those days that I am down, that I am comparing myself because I'm human and I and I'm thinking, man, no one's I haven't had any sales today. I haven't had this. This isn't going right. Mm -hmm. I bring out my whys and go, well, this is why I'm doing it. And not every day is gonna be easy. Yeah. But if I want to pay off the debt, if I want to go on more vacations, if I want to build a savings for my kids, then I have to get up and I have to do it. So it, it's, mm -hmm. you got, you got to have your whys, whether you write them down on a piece of paper that's dirty and <laughs> been everywhere with you, um, put them up on the wall. Like this is what keeps you like getting up every day and pushing for the end goal. Yeah. So. I have seen, I let, I, write it down, write down your whys, write down what your roadblocks are. I've seen some entrepreneurs put post-its on their fridge because they see it every morning. They yep. see it through the day. 
Um, if you have maybe some self-confidence issues, some self-esteem issues, and you don't want to be on camera because you, you know, you're telling yourself you look funny or whatever it is, put it right up on your mirror in the morning, different post-its. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Right. You know, right. I love your hair, whatever <laughs> it is that you think somebody is going to talk to yeah. you about, put it yep. up there. And exactly. That, nope, you're good. Yeah, you're you good. can do it. I mean, my first reel, even in my first lie, it took me forever to post it because I did. I kept going like, I don't look good. I don't this. I don't that. I'm not sure anybody's going to like that. But it, it's just taking and just posting it. It's five, six seconds. Just post it. People, people love it. you got to be you. And just, I mean, you just got to do it. Put yourself out there. I mean, it'll, it'll start changing. I'm, I am more out of my comfort zone now than I've ever been. Um, and it is. My kids are even... They love to hop on the lives now with me and help if I'm on lives. Um, my son who's dying is starting to think like entrepreneurial, like what can I do to start doing that online? Well, how, how can I build my own business? Right. So it's not just, it's not just me trying to pay off stuff for my family. It's showing my kids that they can put themselves out there, that they can be a business owner and they can build a future that they want. Um, just by just by doing these tasks so and isn't that really like as a mom mm -hmm. you know, we got the mama guilt there's always that yeah right? but you're doing something that's for you doing something and it's also now for your family but you're seeing this whole other benefit yeah you're changing how your children think and view the world yeah they're seeing what's now possible. They're seeing, you know what? I, I have more possibilities. I'm not yeah. stuck to this one plan. Right. Because that's I what they're, I mean, that's what you're taught. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's not saying, yes, now my son is going to be a digital marketer. Yeah. But he is learning. He has choices. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's so cool. Right. And that's what you, you want to go to college? Go to college. I mean, do it. I mean, we yeah. all, I mean, we've all gone to college. But no, there, there is extra ways even through college that you can be, you can be learning what you want for your career, but you can also be creating a side income for you that you can be paying off your college while you're learning this. I mean, you're not stuck in that. I mean, you go to school, they do, they, that's all they teach you. You go to school, you go to school, you get a job and that's life. Um, I talked to some people too, it's like, like, but that's not all it's life. And why don't they teach you a little bit in high school that there are some other options out there? It's not necessarily like back in the day. Yes. When my mom was in school. That's what there was. Right. right. So much has changed now. So yeah, it's awesome as a, as a mom to be able to share this um, mm -hmm. with my kids to know there are options. They don't, you don't have to be stuck if you don't want to be, you can. And I've been talking to even my sister-in-law She's a teacher and she's getting kind of tired of it. And I'm like, there's, there's options. It's, it's just taking that leap of faith, changing your mindset and where you want to be. And, you know, you, you just got to jump and go for it. Right. But, and when you start living and stepping into that self-confidence, that desire for more, the people around you see it, they feel it it's attracting to them and, and they learn it. They learn it by seeing it. Your children learn that self-confidence. Yeah. It's by yep. seeing you step into it, which right. is so cool. Right. So cool. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome to see that they want, they, they want something different too. And they want to, they want to try different things and, you know, put themselves out there and not stay in the little bubble, you know, and just expand themselves. So it's it's cool to see the growth in them too, just in the few months that I've done it and that I, you know, have brought them in to, you know, help me with some different things. And my son, we were at the airport a couple of weeks ago. Um, and he was like, he wanted my phone, but I said, I have to do some things on my business before we get on the plane. Mm -hmm. And he's like, but what do you have to do? Cause I'll do it. I was like, well, I'm just going to get on Facebook. I'm going to comment. I'm going to message, you know, talk to people on Facebook. So even him at nine years old, if you're sitting out there thinking like I'm 60, I'm 70 or I'm 20, whatever, and I don't have any of the skills to do that. My nine-year-old son 
helps me sit yeah. and comment and do this. Like it's stuff that anybody can do. It's just putting yourself in there and learning it. And so he loves it. He helps me out now, even just doing that kind of stuff. So that is so cool. A different I way mean, to have them on technology. It's like to right? quit playing the games and focus a little bit on this stuff. So yeah. You have an intern. Yeah, I have a little intern. So it's it's nice and helpful with that too. <laughs> I love that. I mean, I, I totally relate. My kids are a little older. My oldest is now 18, but she started, she was really into what I was doing. And at 15, it's like, yeah. I want to, I want to learn more. I want to do more with social media for the business and things like that. And so I said, well, you need to take a course. You're not just going to go post, but I want yeah. you to have some knowledge before. Right. You, you got to learn. Right. There's some learning that is involved. And she dove in and um, she's just learned a lot. She knows how to build funnels now. That's awesome. You know, there's <laughs> different things like that as an 18 year old. Um <laughs> And it's just cool to watch your child evolve into something and then get their own ideas. Yes. Through that process too. Yeah. It's, cool. it's really neat. Yeah. So Very the cool. question of the, the year that I'm always asking, because this is what comes up for anyone new, what type of content did you create when you first started your channel? If you haven't had, you know, there's not commissions coming in, but you need to show up. So <laughs> what are, what's your piece of advice for someone that is a brand new account, zero followers, day one, and they need to start creating videos? Do value, educational, but also filter in some fun stuff. So definitely like things that people want to learn or even a work from home job um, that people can make money online from or make money from home from because that's what a lot of people are looking for um but make sure your videos are have some value in them and educational yeah not just hey come do you dm me over on uh, instagram yeah yeah not just the basic like hey um yeah come come message me because i'm gonna have you buy something right? <laughs> like, like but yeah, value and education. And I still, there's days I'm like, I don't know what to do, but mm -hmm. we got it. Everybody's got it. Yeah. Research. It's doing a lot of research and getting on. And um, I forget the website now. My brain just shut off. Um, but you can go and ask questions and it'll give you all the main topics people are researching. And even Google, I guess you can get on and ask. And it'll give you ideas of how to create what you want to put in your video. Um, sure. for what People are asking. The same. So I, I give me 10 video topics around this. Yeah. And then you can ask it to write a script for you. Even yes, if I just it. learned about the chat GPT yesterday. And I was like, this thing is amazing. Yeah. Yes. I was, I was, I was, I was diving into more of that yesterday and I was like, I got to use this. <laughs> yeah. That's it's an a, awesome it's tool. A great springboard to just yeah. get your creative juices flowing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. your advantage. It doesn't mean you need to go, you know, copy and paste everything in there. Don't do that necessarily. Make it your own, add in your own flair, but definitely use it to your advantage um, to get creative. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's such tough. a cool tool now to have. Like, yeah. very nice, very nice Absolutely. tool. So I want to leave you with the last word to share with everybody that's watching either live or on the replay later. Um, what's your piece of advice if you're going through the challenge right now? Keep going. Um, there's going to be a lot of information thrown at you, um, but don't give up. Um, go back through a rewatch and ask questions. Reach out to who you signed up under or reach out to a business plan advisor or anyone in even in the um, legendary reach place. Out to me. I'll yeah, answer all reach, your questions. I do it all reach, the time. <laughs> reach out. Don't stay stuck. Don't don't yeah. get in your head and think that you can't do that because it's overwhelming information. Like you just you just got to keep going. Oh, I so appreciate you sharing your journey and your story with us today. Um, I think a lot can relate that it wasn't overnight. You did experience challenges, but everyone does and it's normal. And 
sometimes it's hard for people to share, you know what? Yeah. I quit for a little bit and I came back. Yeah. And that's just yeah, amazing that you came here and shared <laughs> that with us. And I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you're you. welcome. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not, it, it's not every road is easy. It just, yeah. but you have to have, have to have your whys and just skip and do it. I did. I quit for, it was six, seven months. I didn't do anything, but I knew I needed to. So you can, everyone can do it. It's just getting out of your head, listening to mindset podcasts, reading the books and just keeping, keeping the negative out as much yeah. as you can. And one small step each day is better than no step. Exactly. We don't get it done today. It'll be there tomorrow. Yep. You so have one happening. thing that you're going to get done every day and make sure it's done. Yep. Oh, I love that. Love that. Love that. All right. You can follow Sarah on Instagram at Keck Recommends, K E C K Recommends. And then we also have her TikTok. You can find Sarah on TikTok at Moms Making Money 2023. So that is her TikTok handle. That's my new one. <laughs> Your new one. So definitely go help her out. Get her following <laughs> up over there. And then I'm um, assuming on Facebook, they can just search Sarah Keck. Yes. S A R A. Yep. Um, yep. And I have a Facebook group too. They can, okay. they can reach out for too. So awesome. Join the group, follow her, find her on social media. Let her know you saw her interview here on Wake Up Legendary. Sarah, you have to come back. Keep us posted. You got to meet with Dave for sure yes. next time. <laughs> um, and uh, just keep trucking along. And as That's always, right. if you have questions, reach out. We're always here to help. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Take care. Yes. Thank you. All right. What an episode. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I saw lots of different comments about that as well in the comments. If you missed any of this episode, please go back and watch this recording. Um, if you are brand new or thinking of starting over, if you quit, if you're just feeling overwhelmed, this is the interview for you to go back, rewatch, listen to Sarah's story. She is an amazing mom, person, and marketer. And I know she will inspire you to kick it into gear and take action. As always, everyone, have a fantastic weekend. We will see you back here on Monday with another episode. Take care.